Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and my next guest is going to help me and Chris to find our Zen. Welcome to Saad Inder S. Khalsa, and welcome back, Chris Atkins, Thank you. our Tech Tibbets um, expert who also enjoys a little yoga in his life. So tell us, Saad Inder, what, why should we all be enjoying yoga? Oh, I don't know. Because um, you feel better when you're done. As we were talking about before, before the segment, um, I don't know that there's anything better that you can say is when you feel better before, I mean after, than you do before, what's, what's, what would there's stop you from doing that, right? Yeah. So, and it's a lot of physical benefits. It gets your glandular systems, your nervous system, and all that stuff in balance. And mm -hmm. um, your mind, it gets your mind a little bit more chilled out so that you're not so edgy. And I like to say it burns, I, I practice really strong practice because it helps kind of burn off the edges. Yeah. You know, those edges that don't necessarily bump up against anyone else's edges in a very positive way. Yeah. So So you're doing, you're yeah. offering yoga at Tower Grove and you've been to his classes. Yes, right? wonderful, wonderful time. So um Tower Grove Park, I mean how wonderful, what a great setting. Yeah, Saturday it's great. mornings. Yeah. It's part and of the farmers free. market. It's free. Donations accepted on as as you can. If you can't you get it's free free as well. Yeah. So do you, do you get just a few people like Chris here who just need a break from the computers or do you get hundreds of people? What's well, like? we started eight years ago and there were like 20 people. We'd get excited when there were 20 people yeah. and then um, it built the next year and we had like 45 people. And then the next year, it slowly built up. And this year, last week, Saturday, I had 238 people. 238? 238. 238 wow. people. I had to get a mic earlier this year because it, it, they just couldn't hear me anymore. So. The, the most I had was three weeks ago, I had 285 people. Wow. So it's, we just get a big circle and we have a good time. Yeah, so Chris, um, how has yoga benefited you? Well, as, as he had said that, um, you know, when you go to a class, I find myself rushing to get to a nine o'clock Saturday morning yoga class, I apologize. <laughs> right. If I walk in, now, right. everybody, right. everybody does is, it. The great thing is about having it out there, there's no door that creaks open when you're right. walking late. Right. You, you kind of walk true. in, you throw your I mat down. I see you though, I see you, and I'm like, I'll, uh, if I know your name, I'll call you out. Oh, yeah, now I'm in trouble. Next yeah, up, right, right. because of you. I'll be yeah. watching. But no, it's it's great because after the one hour practice, it's just boy, what a great way to start a weekend. You know, yeah. I was telling about it. You know, a few weeks back, I was laying there, and you know, the lay underneath these huge trees because you never get trees that large unless you're in a park. And just to realize, yeah. wow, this is such a beautiful setting. Mm -hmm. And I only wish we could do it, you know, all year long. But winter gets probably a bit prohibitive. Right. We lived in LA, maybe, but not. But I think that's a really good point because so many people practice yoga in a studio or in their living room or. I've done it in basements, and how would a no better setting than to be a part of nature? Well, that's what you don't about. get that experience in a studio. It's a whole different thing. When you're done, you're you're on the grass. You're feeling the earth beneath you. You got this, you know, the sky floating by above you. The trees over you. It's gorgeous. It's perfect. And then the markets there also that that there's great food. There's great produce. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. it's like a whole experience. It's not just. Um, coming to a class and then leaving and going home, you know? Right, but yoga, just like any, any fitness activity, can be intimidating for people that mm -hmm. have never done it before. So what do you recommend, and Chris, you might want to jump in here too, is for people that haven't done it, I mean, should they, what should they bring, what should they wear? A lot of people come with nothing and just do it on the grass, and that's, that's why it's accessible at the park, because you can do that. At a studio, there's the hard floors, and you need a mat, and you need a towel, and you, you, know, you want to wear clothes that are comfortable enough to do mm -hmm. that in. Um, the, studio, they, uh, the park class has probably more beginners than I've ever taught in my life, because mm -hmm. I'm not really patient with beginners. <laughs> there are people who are great at that and I'd rather let them do that. You know, I'm, I'm better at different things. But now things. wait a minute. You just said you're not patient, so now what, if I'm a beginner, I don't want to come. But <laughs> no, no, actually, I would say if you're a beginner, come to the park. Right. Again, right. There's enough people, you know, right. in a classroom, you probably have room for 50 people max, depending upon the size of the room. Not most, not most in this town, but less smaller, than that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Smaller, probably yeah. 30, 40 at the most. Mm -hmm. But the great thing with this is there's so many people and it's so big, you can, you can sneak in the side and you, yeah. can, you can realize when someone says a new position, you go, Right, and it's good if, if I'm talking and you don't know, you know, if you've never been in touch with your body in that way to know, step your foot in this direction, you know, what, you know, you look around, there's someone knows what I'm talking about, yeah. and they, they so do it, and then yoga, you can model off of that. So yoga, yoga's good exercise, mm -hmm. it's good for your body, but it's not, you're not exerting yourself in the way you would if you go for a cardio run. Um, no, you've know. never been to one of my classes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll sweat a little bit, and, we'll, and we'll also feel relaxed at yes. the end, is that right? Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So Saturday mornings through October, is that right? Through October, yeah. So as long as the Tower Grove uh, Farmer's Market is going on, you're there right. every Saturday morning, 9 o'clock. And when do you start up again in the spring? It starts Mother's Day weekend usually. This year they started a week earlier, but it's always Mother's Day weekend around there. May. Okay. So around the beginning of May through October and just show up and whatever, and you don't need to bring a mat. Right. That's what I'm getting. Well, I mean, this. you can. <laughs> if you have a mat, bring it. But if you don't have a mat, you'll be fine as long as you don't mind getting your hands a little dirty. All right, good. All right, well, thank you so much. And next time you come, let's actually do some yoga yeah, right here. That. That'd be fun. <laughs> okay, make, make we'll be good. back with more SDL TV Live right after this. But first, take a look at today's featured hot job brought to you by Slate and Missouri Workforce Development.